Let's take a quick look at uh, one of the simplest recipe steps or profile steps, the soak step, which maintains the set points of the previous step for a fixed amount of time. So let's look at an example. Let's log into the controller so we can write a profile, lowercase c tech. And we can go to profiles from the main menu. Let's create a profile. And make a good name. Test is always good. And let's create some steps. So first step, Let's change this to instant change. Let's set the controller to 150C. And let's make it take one second, so a real fast change. And let's set the vacuum to 500, Tor. Let's enable vacuum control on. And that's it, that's step one. Okay, now let's add in our soak step. So let's change this to soak. All right, so notice, no set points, just time. So let's change this seconds to 15 seconds. We can see that we can change the events in a soak. So we want to make sure we leave vacuum control on. Okay, and then remember that we always need an end step in every profile. We're going to set the profile to user for the end actions. So it always goes back to where it was, unless we want to change that. And back from control, let's go ahead and turn it off. Done. Okay. So now, let's run this profile, see what happens. So we get a one second step, boom, it's done. And now we're in this 15 second soak step. Notice we set the target is 150 and 500, but the oven isn't going to get there. But we're soaking for 15 seconds. So let's say we, and now the recipe's ended. So let's look at that recipe again. Um, go to profiles, profile two, you edit the steps. Okay, so remember here, instant change, we set the oven to 150C and 500 Tor. So it'll get to 500 Tor pretty fast, maybe a minute or two. Uh, it'll get to 150C in a couple hours. So if we set this soak, to something less than, say, three hours, the oven may not get there. If we set it longer than three hours, it'll get to temperature, and then it'll it'll take the time it took to get to temperature, and then uh, the time of your soak, the total of the amount of time is the soak time. So if we set the soak for uh, 10 hours, and it takes three hours to get to temperature, uh, we'll have seven hours while we're at uh, temperature. So, uh, this is not an intelligent step, it just, it's just a, a, a timer for 10 hours. Um, and for most customers, this might be good enough. We'll just, uh, we just want to turn it on, um, let it start heating, put our product in the oven, and after the timer expires, we'll turn the heat off, uh, we'll turn the vacuum off, and we'll take our product out, and that's good enough. If we want to have uh, a more intelligent recipe, where uh, we wait until we're at a certain set of conditions before we start the soak, then we'll have to use a little more advanced recipe step, which we can talk about in the next video, which is the wait for. So we'll talk about that in the next one.